Hello there YouTube, Anglin James, this is my son Thomas Hello. and this is week 5 of our off season weigh in. So please sit back and enjoy this video. Yes, hello again, welcome to our channel, Life Changing Journey. Um, it is week five, it is weighing. We're gonna have a little bit of a talk about um, where we go, where, what we, our goals are for 2020, uh, 2022. We're gonna have a little talk about where we go from here um, in, in 2022, what our goals are, um, where we've come from, sort of how, we, how we're doing, We'll have a look on the scale, see what the weight is, see what we're putting on, see what we need to change, what we're eating and things like that. We'll keep you informed all the way anyway. Yeah. Um, and Christmas has gone, guys. We're now in the new year. We've all got new goals. Well, I, I presume we've all got new goals, unless your life is absolutely perfect and you don't need to change anything, but so we're not that fortunate. Uh, we have to change our life yeah. in, well we have to change things in our life because uh, we, we're not completely happy with uh, our uh, situation and things like that as you guys know um firstly um <coughs> well my goal is which i've always said right from the beginning is to pack on more muscle and get myself into shape uh, and and start looking good and we want to time it right this year so it's right for the summer so we're doing what we can in the winter um, we're putting, we, we're gaining as much muscle mass as we can up to March, and then that gives us time then in the summer to get as much fat off as possible and start to look good, ready for the summer. Yeah. You know, so we can actually walk around, so we can go on the beach, take our tops off, and actually feel proud of what we've got, um, and not feel embarrassed uh, in any way, because uh, at the moment I feel completely embarrassed. Same, yeah. You know, we'll tell you guys, give you a little insight of how we're feeling as well putting the weight on because it's not easy it's not. You, you do start to struggle don't you yeah you get out of breath a lot yeah and you, I'm, I'm starting to realize as well i'm starting to struggle putting my socks on yeah yeah and just walking up and down the stairs as well yeah i'm walking to work yeah exactly right yeah um things are starting to get a little bit harder so we really do know we're truly in the off season yeah. we are truly in the off season it is getting a bit harder um you know <laughs> It's just little things that you notice, like Thomas said, putting your socks on. You know, you, you, you know, you get. It's not that you get out of breath. It's that you, you, you're squashing everything, trying to get your socks on. You know, and stretching. Just, just before it felt, it felt better when we lost the weight. Yeah. And now with with putting the weight on, we've forgot how it actually felt. Yeah. So we're just starting to feel. Oh no, we've gone back to what we were. We're getting back that. Yeah. And we yeah. We don't want to be there. No, we don't want to be there. The good thing about this is, is we're, we're putting, what we're doing is, is we're, we're gaining the weight to put muscle weight on because you you can't really grow muscle in a deficit. You have to oh, eat yeah, to the surface. Yeah. Maybe we're putting weight on a bit too much, too fast. Um, uh, we'll check on the scale, see how we're yeah, getting on. Yeah. Uh, we'll find that out anyway. Um, but what come March, come March the 1st, everything will change. 
will start eating in a deficit again and hopefully we'll keep that muscle mass that we've put on within this time in the off season that's the plan yeah, uh, yeah. this is it and this is what we're doing and we'll, uh, we'll keep the training as as hardcore as we can keep it yeah uh, we'll start doing some more footage in the gym um, very soon uh, and, and hopefully that, that this COVID will allow us to do this as well uh, hopefully we won't get closed down you know church ward fingers crossed and everything else we've been lucky this year so far um but uh but yeah that's my goal my goal is to look good for the summer Thomas's goal and I, I want to look good for summer as well i don't want to be looking fat right no. just i don't i don't like it anymore it's no. just it's too much it is, it is. Oh, yeah. I need to lose it. I need to lose it fast. But you are starting to get some shape, you're starting to get some muscle. Yeah, there. I am, yeah. I wanna I wanna pack some more muscle on as well there. Yeah. And you can see you have since since you started the gym, you can yeah. see you, you can actually see it. And once you start dieting that will show more. Yeah. That's the, that's the whole point. At the moment you, you you know you're not seeing it as good as you can. No, it's because we've we've put a lot of weight on since then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but once we start dieting back down again, that muscle will will show through. Yeah, and that's when you'll say see, see everything that well, that's all the improvements that you've made in it during the off season. Yeah, this is what happens. You see, um, so uh, and we're not. We're not doing this in a competitive nature. No, we're not. No. Only friendly banter between each other. But we're not doing it in competitive nature. We're not training to go on stage or, or whatever or compete. This is just for me and Tomas to get ourselves into shape. I watch many people on YouTube. I watch Mr. Olympia, uh, Chris, Chris Bumstead. I watch, his, I watch him in his, his off season. I watch him in his prep. And, and th this is the way I want to go. I, I'm not talking we want to be Mr Olympia, what I'm saying is I want to use the same sort of methods to get our bodies into shape. Yeah. What I say by that is, um, you know, they go in the off season, they put the weight on, they put as much muscle weight on, they, get, they gain strength, they gain muscle, and then when they go into prep, they severely diet down, right down, right down to the bone. That's not what, where we're going. No, we don't but, want to be... We don't want to diet that hard. No, but what we do want to do is get ourselves into shape. Yeah. So we're using a similar methods, pretty much the same, but we're not going to be quite as severe uh, as as that. So that's why they're Mr. Olympia. That's why they compete because uh, they're able to do it, and they, you know. But we have no reason to do that. You know, we just want to look good. So we are using similar principles, similar similar methods to what they do. And hopefully we can get somewhere close, well not somewhere close to them, but we can, hopefully we can get somewhere close to what we want, or if not, bang on where we want to be. Yeah. So, you know, so this is where we are. So anyway, it is weigh-in day. We're going to get on the scales, so without further ado, we'll see you on the scales. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so here we go then. I'll connect to the scales and we'll get on and see what we are this week. Eighteen one point two. So, so there we are then. So eighteen at one point two, fat thirty two point two, water forty nine six, bone seven nine, muscle thirty five point nine, BMI thirty two point six. Jeff, <laughs> I'm absolutely gobsmacked. To be honest with you, I, 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 we're trying to put weight on. That's the game. But I didn't think I'd put this much weight on. <clears throat> so anyway, Thomas will get on the scales. He'll do his way and we'll sit down at the table and we'll talk a bit more in depth of why and how and all the rest of it. Thank you. Yeah, my turn now. Let's see what I am this week. Sixteen thirteen four. Uh, sixteen thirteen four. Fat thirty point nine. Water fifty point four. Bone nine point two. Thirty nine muscle. 31.5 BMI. Yeah, it's gone up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you, that's the object. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't gone up much, but we'll sit down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Uh, do you know that this is uh, actually an uh, unbelievable height, to be honest yeah. with you? 
um, for me it is way too much. It's, um, in fact, since we've been doing this off the, on the off season, it's the biggest biggest rise I've had. Uh, I believe I'll just have a look back on the record. Um, but I do believe it's the biggest hike I've had. Uh, yes, it is. It is, it is the yeah. biggest hike. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, yeah, it's it? yeah, it's the biggest hike I've had, um, which is way too much, too yeah. much of what I want. But we have, since the Christmas holiday, we have changed our food back to eating good, healthy foods. Yeah. But we're just eating too much of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, th I think we've just gone a bit over the top, certainly for me anyway. Um, we've got, I've had lots of chicken and lots of eggs. Um, and I've been eating quite a bit of pasta as well, which is not the best best no. thing. But maybe the pasta's not helped. Maybe I filled it with water. I'm not sure. But uh, and I will uh, get will get on with my my weight. Yeah, I'm not far off from that. I've gained six pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, and I will we'll, we'll get on with it. So I've come in at 18 stone 1.2. No wonder I'm getting out of breath again. Um, my fat. Uh, well, last week I was 17.4.3, um, and this week 18.1.2. That's a rise of 10.9 pounds, guys. 10.9 pounds, that's way too much. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be muscle weight. Uh, there might be a little bit of muscle weight in there, but it's certainly not all muscle weight, I can assure you of that. So let's not kid ourselves. Let's not, not sit here and pretend, oh, I've put 10 pounds of muscle on, because that is not what has happened. I can assure you of that. Even if you was on PEDs with performance, uh, the P, yeah, PED performance enhancing drugs like steroids or whatever you want to call them, you know, uh, <laughs> you're not going to put 10, 10, 11 pounds of muscle on in a no. week, I can assure you of that. So, just, just, just to let you guys know, we're not on PEDs, this is completely natural. This is just eating possibly the wrong food. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, uh, so and anyway, so that's a ten a hike of 10.9 pounds. My fat has gone from 30.8 to 32.2. My water's gone down, it was 50.6 last week, it's gone down to 49.6. My bone has gone up a tad from 7.8 to 7.9. My muscle has gone down, and, and I, I don't know why or how, because it shouldn't be. But it's gone down from 36.5 to 35.9. My BMI has gone up, which is not surprising at all. It's gone from 31.2 to 32.6. It's shocking. It's too much. We're going to have to reel, reel that in, keep, bring it down a bit. Um, you know, it's too many calories. We'll have to drop the calories a bit and, and, and lighten that weight. We still what we do want to gain the muscle weight, but we don't want to be gaining that sort of weight. It's too much. Yeah, I'll go on with mine now. Um, this week we're coming at 16.13.4, which is a gain of six pounds from last week. My fat this week is 30.9, up from 30.1. My water is 50.4, down from 51. My bone is 9.2, this is a, uh, up from 9.1. My muscle is 39 up from 39.3 uh, down from 39.3 sorry and my BMI is 31.5 up from 30.7 yeah yeah everything has gone up and down it's got so, yeah it's all it's all it's too much yeah it's way too much bottom yeah. line is it is too much so we need to rein it in a bit we need to yeah. sort out our diet uh, lay off the pasta a little bit um, yes, we're going to keep eating our chicken. Yes, we're going to keep eating our eggs. Yes. You know, I probably add some more vegetables in there rather than the pasta. You know, some broccoli and cauliflower and things like that. Them sort of things. And uh, just rain back on the extras that we're adding into our diet. Yeah. We're adding in nuts, we're adding in pasta. Uh, you know, there's sauces with that as well. So we need to just rein them in a bit. And keep it a little bit more natural yeah um, and uh, I think we'll be fine um, <clears throat> but we will we will do that and we'll keep our eye on it like I say this is going on till March the 1st if we carry on like this we'll be we'll, 
It'll be, will be too fat and we'll have too much fat to lose and we don't want to be spending the rest of the year trying to lose the fat. We no. want to, you know, we want to lose the fat in a comfortable 12, 14, 16 weeks at most. Yeah. If, you know, this is where we want to be. So yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> so that is the way in this week. I'm not entirely happy about it, but it is what it is. We have to move on and we have to learn from it. Um, we certainly will learn from it because yeah. Put more weight on this week than I did over the Christmas week, and uh, that surprised me to be honest. Yeah, that surprised you. me as well because I, uh, I put less on this week. I put six pounds on this week. Last week I put in seven. Yeah, you're gone down a little bit, um, but me, I, I've gone. I mean, uh, last week I, I gained five point two pounds in the Christmas week. I've yeah. doubled. I've doubled that this week. Um, you, you, you know, so yeah, I, I will be changing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll see what we are next week, um, and we'll keep our eye out entirely on that. Um, but that, yeah. So the goal for this week is certainly gain weight, but not as much. So yeah. keep, you know, probably maybe one or two or, or three pounds maximum, um, and we'll we'll see where we are. Um, we'll be lifting, lifting heavier. Uh, we're able to lift heavier uh, with the with the food that we're eating, yeah. so that's a good thing. Very good. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll to add more plates to the to the bar, and um, and when when we come to when we come to then in our, our in our preparation to to train, getting our bodies down, we've got some muscle to use and being able to use them for them exercises yeah. to, to really tone up and really re really work. Work the shoulders, work the chest, work from every different angle, um, and and have the strength to do it. So, so especially them awkward. The, the, you guys know that the, 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 you guys that are in the gym and you're training. The certain exercises that you do for certain parts of, like let's say your shoulders. Uh, you know, when when you're bulking up and you're just doing a standard military press, and you're putting the weight on and putting the weight on and getting stronger and stronger. But when we're isolating these muscles and you're doing side lateral raises and you're doing bent over uh, uh, raises, they're difficult and you can only use very light weights until you get the strength in, you know. So it's it's good that while you're in this off-season off to gain as much strength as possible. So when you're doing these individual isolation movements, you, you can use more weight and more weight and use bigger muscles. Um, so uh, it is it is good while we're in yeah. the off season to carry on in this 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 way. So yes, guys. Um, all in all, a little bit disappointed on how much weight's been put on. Very very determined with the goals that we've set ourselves. Uh, really looking forward to the challenge. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I can't wait till March the first. Me neither. Already, I can't wait till March the first. I'm starting to sweat more, I'm starting to breathe more heavily, it's, things are getting more difficult, getting in and out of the car, putting your socks on, yes. your daily, just your daily things are starting to get that little bit more difficult. So, uh, yeah, albeit we're a little bit stronger than we were, we're still, we're still finding it a little bit more difficult to move around like we used to. Yeah. Uh, and um, I, we have noticed that more than anything. So just remember guys, if you are in your off season, and you are training to put weight on, just remember when you will get to a point when you put so much weight on that you will start to feel these little things like getting out of breath, not being able to be as, as nimble and move about as efficiently. You know, it is part and parcel of the, of, of, of the, 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 the programme, but you've got to trust it. You know, go with it, trust it, and just trust that what you're doing is right and you will get to your goals in the end. Yes, um, and, but you have to go through these little moments, you know, on your way to your goals. I'm sure you guys can relate to that, those that you're in the gym doing the same sort of thing, especially you, you guys that are competing, um, you know, you guys know exactly what we're talking about. So, so yeah, so there we are guys. Let's hope that you guys have got some goals and you're going for them. I really, really do hope that you, you, you know, you're sticking to them. Uh, you know, well done if you are. You know, that's great. Um, and let's hope 2022 is going to be a good year for you guys. And hope that coronavirus will uh, not 
impede us in any way. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much again, guys, for joining us. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to your channel. That really would help us out immensely. There has been a video that we put up um, last week or the week before last, um, a trip down memory lane. It was really successful. We've had really good feedback on it. I'll put it up there for you guys to have a look. Um, it, it's, it's a really good video, you know, and everybody's saying so. You know, people are getting back to me and saying this. You, you know, go and have a look. If you haven't checked it out, go and check it out and have a look. It's a really good video. So if you can, like, subscribe. Press the notification, you'll be notified for all of our videos. That will not only notify you guys to tell you when we've done a video, that will help our channel out immensely. So if you could guys, if you could share our shit, that'd be fantastic. Have a great week. We'll see you on next video, next way in. Um, so thank you. Thank you.